What's going on guys? It's uh, Tim here with A4 Outdoors again. I know it's been a little while as far as doing any X3 videos, but um, we haven't ridden in a, you know, a few months because we've kind of been doing the uh, ocean thing with the boat and stuff like that we got. So, But I wanted to do a video. We finally got a product made that I know is a big problem with the X3. Well, it's not the actual X3's fault. It's the just the, the way of the light bar is, but um, we got these made for our machines about a year ago, year and a half ago. And most of the people that ride with us that have X3s, we, we got them made for them. And now, finally, after trying to get someone to make it, took it forever, got, we have them made. I've got them in stock. Um, what it is, is <clears throat> got the glare shield. If you've seen any of our videos, you may have noticed, and I've probably mentioned it also in the video before, that we have a pro box roof on ours and the light bar on the pro box roof at night puts off a ton of glare on the windshield especially we used to have a plastic windshield if you have any dust whatsoever even clear you turn that on without the glare shield the light bar light hits on the windshield and it makes it where it's almost impossible to see because of the glare so what we did we kind of drew this up and we have got these made. These are the glare guards that fit the Pro Box roof, the light bar in the front. So um, finally got these in stock now, and I'll put a link in the description to our website that you can buy them directly and we'll ship them directly out to you. Um, what I've decided to do is just, they're made out of aluminum, thick enough to where they're not gonna really bow, bend very much, and they've kind of been, you know, reinforced some. This just goes the, the Pro Box light bar is a 40 inch light bar. So outside, the outside of the light bar is 42 and a half. So just make sure your, the outside of your light bar from the brackets are 42 and a half, which all the Pro Box ones should be for the X3. Um, Max or two seater should be the same, unless they've changed something this year with a different light bar, but I don't think they have. So 42 and a half in between the light bar and this just kind of slides in. You just remove your bolts for your light bar, goes right in and I'll show you on our machine up close and it keeps that, it's actually gonna go this way, it keeps that light from going straight down onto your windshield so you don't get the glare. It's, makes all the difference in the world. If you've ridden at night, you know that it's a pain in the butt because you can't see because of the glare on the windshield from the top, if you have a top light bar, um, like you let on the Pro Box roof. So we're making them with raw aluminum, decided not, once you, we're gonna ship them out this, that way you can paint them, you can take them, if you have a local powder coater, get them powder coated. Or you can, I use on mine, I use the Krylon to paint mine black. Some people might want to paint them the same color as your machine or an accent piece or something like that. Uh, my buddy actually has the blue and the kind of the silver X3. So he left his raw and it really matches pretty darn close to the roll cage, the silver part of the roll cage. So um, it'll ship out just like this. You can paint it yourself or you can have it power coated how you want to do it. So um, now, what I'll do is I'll show you what it kind of looks like on our machine. If you'll come over here and look. This this one I've had on for a year and a half. So I need to take it off and touch it up a little bit of paint. I just spray painted this with Krylon. As you can see, it just bolts. You just remove your bolts on the outside. You may have to move your light bar. The light bar comes with the bracket on the bottom. So your light bar's a little bit lower. Um, my brother-in-law still actually has his like this and it doesn't hit his windshield. So depending on what you have, it should be fine. But I just raised mine up just a little bit, sat it on top. That way I've got plenty of room in between my windshield. You don't have to worry about it hitting or anything. So once you do that, you just put the bracket on top. You just take that bolt loose, kind of slide it in under there, bolt it back, keep it level. And now, as you can see before, your light bar, since the X3's windshield is so slanted, the light would hit the, the windshield like right here and you would just, it would just be glare where you couldn't see it all. So now what that does is blocks the glare from the windshield. And now when you can see, I'll try, we'll actually maybe try to do a video, just kind of show you a picture at night. The light starts about right here at the shock tower. So that way it's dark under here. You don't get any glare off the windshield and all your light from your light bar goes out and it makes it a thousand times better. I mean, you can, you can see perfectly if you've got an upper, upper light bar, like on the Pro Box roof. But, um, so this is a product finally got made. We're gonna offer it directly on our website. I'll put a link in the description. Makes a huge difference. I mean, huge difference. If you ride at night, 
you've got to have one of these if you have a pro box room with an upper light bar or a top light bar. So we do have these in stock ready to ship now. Just measure in between your outside of your light bar to the outside and make sure it's about 42 and a half inches. Um, if it's on a pro box roof, it should be that. It may fit 40 regular 40 inch light bars with the upper mounts also, I'm not sure. So um, if you have any questions, comment below, send us an email, whatever you want to do. And um, thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you next time.